people who can give some lip back to my Katie. But I think our next guest is one of them. He was lead singer in the massive band Dead or Alive, and when it comes to plastic surgery, he makes Sher look like a lightweight. He's here tonight with the man who recently took him up the aisle for the second time. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Pete Burns and his husband, Michael Simpson. <laughs> Anyway, nice to have you I on our show. I usually sit on his face. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, we saw you from White Swap. We saw Loved you it. brilliant on that. Thank Absolute you. brilliant. Did you guys see that, White Swap? And didn't it just make you see that there's so many, like these guys have got such good hearts from what we saw on that show. And doesn't it make you see that, you know, you need people like that in this world because someone like Peter to change razors way of thinking after so many years when he didn't and all of a sudden pete was able to do it that says something that's so brilliant that was absolutely brilliant but it's like what we said we're the new face of normal <laughs> <laughs> what well, is we normal? think we are anyway absolutely there you you know. exactly exactly yeah. i mean people who look really normal underneath the business suits they've got stock into suspenders and stuff like exactly that exactly <laughs> and if you've got of... abs you're abnormal the yeah, heart boom boom <laughs> right <laughs> Yeah, there's now a lot of cranks out there. Right at least, at least our mental instability is all on the outside, and it comes off a cleanser. Well, we think you're great, and you've got Pete Burns, PA, airing on TV at yeah. the moment. Let's have a look at a clip of this, if you don't mind. These are your teams for the week, and your challenge is to arrange two fabulous dates for Michael and me. I want these dates to be original, fun, memorable, and romantic. Okay. That's crap. Is yeah. it sad? It's not. It. Is it for the bedroom or is it for the, the kitchen? While Peter and Michael explore, the team decide to buy some extra special gifts. And he wanted you to have that goodie bag and he paid for it himself. All the sax Yeah. Mm. I have to say, that is real determination. He wants this so badly, he wants to change his life, turn everything around. But and you don't have a job to... just because you bought me a bag full of dildos. <laughs> What kind of boss do you think you'll be? Well, I, th I don't think I'm a difficult boss. I really don't think I'm a difficult boss. I mean, ultimately, a PA that works for me, they probably will never get to see me. We don't like people running around as an intruding in our life. You know, we won't yeah. let them in the door. We like to just, you know... Yes, we talk to them through a peephole. <laughs> we have a little bit of paper bit kinky. The door. <laughs> yeah, yeah, through a peephole. is peephole underpants. I think everything but, with us seems <laughs> to, Everything comes down to sex. They, they show one clip and there's a paddle. It's not all about sex. Yeah, well, that's what it's like. If us, everyone thinks yeah. everything's always sex, but we can actually hold another conversation. Well, absolutely. Yes, yeah, so we, we're just like fantastic after sex Absolutely. last night. You know, we hey. spoke. <laughs> now you two recently just got married, so congratulations on that. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, you've, got a, you've got a bigger ring than I have. Did you sell your pictures at all? Your no, we don't. We no. don't. We didn't get involved in any of that. To be honest with you, nobody even approached us. And the whole concept of of having it on TV, we weren't really sure what we were letting ourselves in for. And on the day. It, we were in shock. I think people always expect, you know, if you're gay people, you get married. It's somehow not marriage. It's like a, a joke, or we did it because we were being filmed. And we were doing it anyway. Yeah. But I think with the kind of more mainstream papers, they've still got that kind of weird thing about the whole gay bit. I think just because you're gay doesn't mean, you know, it's yeah, just absolutely. what you do in the bedroom. Marriage is marriage at the end and of the day. And love that. is love. And yeah. love is love, as we know. Now, lots of the viewers and the audience here know you from Big Brother. What made you do that? Money. Was <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, no, I, I'd been, I'd, my career just completely finished because I was in Italy having a lot of reconstructive surgery for a very, very serious condition. And I was stuck there for almost two years having two or three operations a week and they're still not over. I got an injectable solution uh, and to, to be brutally frank, it nearly killed me. Whereabouts did I you have that? In the lips, but it went in the jaw, in the throat, it moved into the cheek. I had kidney failure, thrombosis everywhere. So it was a very serious medical condition and people make a lot of jokes about it. Yeah. And I did a show last week, uh, The Weakest Link with Ed Robinson. And to be honest with you, it was the worst experience I've ever had because you just kept making jokes about it. And I thought, you know what? Yeah, I really want to punch you right in the face because you, you haven't got a clue what but I've been through. she's had surgery anyway. Yeah, but people think plastic surgery and reconstructive surgery are the same thing. Yeah. This was a life or death issue. Yeah. And it's still ongoing. Now, later on in the show, we're going to play a plastic surgery game. Now, Do I get to have some? Well, hopefully we both can. I have them in three weeks anyway. What are you getting done? Tits. 
Another pair. Smaller, more pair. Another pair. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say you're not getting them on the back, so you're just going more modest. Yeah.